Oh shit, it's motherfucking part four, cause I'm back, bitches. After chatting for a bit with Ella, she fell asleep. After some time, I did too. When I woke up, her head was on my shoulder, and my head was on hers. Her fragrant hair was all over my face. She smelled of vanilla and berries. Her gorgeous scent was so enchanting, I started getting the strangest boner of my life. I was unsure about what to do. Do I slowly back off? Do I keep leaning against her head and savor the moment? What the fuck am I thinking? Why is this an issue? Now, I know there must be a lot of you out there calling me a beta fag, but if bros before hoes doesn't apply here, then where else? The only thing I was able to do was to raise my head out of her hair and sit upright as best as I could. I couldn't bring myself to pull away from her. Then, as if things couldn't get any worse, she mumbled in her sleep and put her hand on my chest, embracing me as if she was sleeping next to Pete. Her beautiful hand was lightly hanging onto my shirt, her cold fingertips gently grazing my bare chest. This is torture. Pete's voice is ringing in my ears. I love her, man. I fucking love her. The time he told me at a party, watching Ella from the other side of the room with an admiration and love I haven't seen before on any man's face. Then I remember Nicole again and the discernment and the loyalty she has displayed time and again in the face of temptation. I felt like shit. Concentrated, water closet clogging brick of a shit. An excruciating hour later, she woke up. She blinked her eyes rapidly as she tried to sober up and yawned and stretched. I was losing my mind to the sight of her delicate body. As every muscle on her body vibrated and contracted, I was trying to force myself to look away, not notice her, but I couldn't. She looked at me with her sleepy green eyes. Oh, sorry, Anon. I get very untidy in my sleep, she chuckled. No worries. I tried to match her chuckle nervously. Shortly after that, we landed. Her parents came to welcome her. She introduced me to them. They were nice people, really warm and welcoming. Her mom, after learning that I was going to be alone in LA, invited me to their place. I kindly declined their invitation, telling that my father has already rented an apartment for me. Well, next week you must at least come have dinner with us then, Ella ordered. Okay then, deal. I accepted her offer with a million questions and ideas racing in my mind. Shortly after we parted ways, I called Nicole and talked to her for an hour, trying to remind myself of who I am, and texted Pete telling him about how Ella and I were on the same flight to LA. I hated myself for feeling that an explanation was necessary. Hey Pete, don't worry buddy, my dick wasn't fully erect the whole time she was sleeping on my shoulder, sort of thing. It got hard only when she started stretching her muscles. It's aight. Fuck. I settled at home, met people at work. It's boring, but it's okay. I'm in LA, lots of things to do, lots of free time when I'm not working 9 to 5, and it's only part time, so I only work 3 days a week. A week later, Ella picks me up from work, and we go to her house like I promised. Everything went better than expected, Dad JPEG. Her parents are really cool. Lots of drinking, talking, joking around. She has a younger brother, Jake. He's 11. He's a nerd, but he's handsome in the same way Ella is beautiful. Fucking little man is on his way to become a motherfucking 10 out of 10 alpha. I start talking to him. We hit it off really well. I start playing video with him in his room. Ella joins in. I'm like, what? Turns out Ella is a hardcore gamer. Then the feeling returns once more. Ella is sitting between me and Jake, and I'm trying to hide my boner under an N64 controller. Feeling like I'm cheating on Nicole again. I start drooling as she kicks our asses in Mario Kart. Oh well, Ella rubs Jake's head, and she turns to me and winks. I don't know what you guys were expecting. I forget how to speak English as I see her smug face next to mine, her piercing green eyes, her sharp, pointy nose a couple of inches away from me, her cheeks red like apples after the rush and excitement of the game. Tiny drops of sweat rolling down on her delicate neck. My mouth is wide open. She starts laughing when she sees my dumb as fuck face. 
I only play adventure games anyway, Monkey Island and such. I try to bail out. Oh, is that right, Mr. Threepwood? Ella teases me. Oh my fucking god. I'm about to drop dead. Her mom calls us for dessert and coffee. I stay for another hour, then her dad drives me back to my place. Next week, she called me and asked if I want to hang out. I was afraid of how fast I responded, yes! She showed me the sights. We went to her favorite places, eating ice cream, hanging out in cafes and shit. About a month and a half into my stay in LA, I met a couple of her old friends. I could easily see that some of her high school boys were still in love with her, losing their minds over how lucky they are to see her once again. Some of them even eyeballed me before Ella told them that I was just a friend. Just a friend, she said. And for no reason at all, I felt as if my heart imploded. What's wrong with what she said? Yeah, a fucking course I was just a friend. It wasn't like I was friend zoned or anything. She had a boyfriend. I had a girlfriend. So I was just a friend. But I was heartbroken nonetheless. We decided to go to the beach next week. So next week, five of Ella's friends and I were at the beach. Nine out of ten, ten out of ten girls with slutty thongs all around us. Everyone is like, who gives a shit? I was the only horny fuck checking out every piece of ass around us. Ella was wearing those loose summer pants and an old XL white shirt. We find a nice spot. Get settled. Then Ella starts taking off her pants and shirt. I force myself to look elsewhere. It's so painful. I shish you not. Every fucking person within a 50 foot radius starts looking. 10 out of 10 girls with tight asses and big tits start cringing. I can see how jealous they feel. Men are mm, yeah. Then I say fuck it. I will have to see her body eventually. No escape. And I look at her. Just a pair of jet black bikinis. In them, the most unquestionably beautiful woman there ever was. Her wavy auburn hair streams to her broad but willowy shoulders. Sharp sunlight is glimmering on her bright green eyes. Her face is already tanned. Reddish spots are formed over her soft cheeks, her petite pink lips and her sharp small diamond chin, both moisturized by tiny droplets of sweat. The elongated and tender tendons on her neckline flows to the most beautiful and deep jugular notch, surrounded by her sharp clavicles. And then I see them. I don't think I've ever seen such breasts before, not with my own eyes, not in pictures, not in real life. Slightly bigger than plump grapefruits and smooth and solid as if they were carved out of marble. They stand at attention, amused by the incompetence of frail gravity. Her small nipples mildly protruding out of her bikini top, like searchlights pointing way up into the sky. My eyes hover over that sight for a few seconds and admire her chest like they have seen the most beautiful work of art ever created. Then I look down, see her belly. She has a set of lightly defined muscles surrounding her tummy. Her waist is lean and forms a very elegant and gentle hourglass shape as they connect to her curvy yet tight hips. Another piece of black cloth covers the magnificent V shape. The sight of a barely concealed budge on the cloth stops my heart for a second. It is an unbelievable awareness knowing what's behind that cloth. There is a small opening beneath her crotch, and I can see the sandy beach in the background from between her legs as the lengthy muscles on her thighs expand and contract and shiver and vibrate to the warm breeze of Cali. Her small knees play around, and her lower legs keep to the pace as the tanned muscles around her tibias enjoy the sunlight. Her feet dig shallow spots in the sand, tip of her toes curl in point. Her heels ascend out of the sand and dance in the air. Ella. Words are empty. Holy shit, it's been like two and a half months. Fuck me in the ass. It's been a long time. Sorry. <laughs>